it's Miss Miranda with At Home Learning. We're on week three, day two of our phonics, which is lesson 106. And we've been talking about the long vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, and U. That's right. Raise your hand if you have a vowel in your name. Everyone should have raised their hand because we all have vowels in our name. Very good. Now, what you're going to do today on your paper when we finish is you're going to start with A and write all the way to Z. All 26 letters you're going to start with A and you're going to go to Z. You don't have to do it on your phonics paper. You can do it on a separate piece of paper. But I want you to start with A and put up all the letters in order until you get to letter Z. Very good job. Now we're going to try a new game where I'm going to say an ending sound and you're going to add a long vowel sound to the beginning of it and tell me a word that you can make. So let's try, say, J. Add A to the beginning of J. And what do you get? Age. Good job. Add E to the beginning of CH. And what do you get? Each. Each. Try I M. I'm. Try use. Use. Try aim. 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 Good. What about E O? E and O. What do you get? Eel. Good job. And O and T. O, T, O, T. Good job, boys and girls. We added long vowel sounds to the beginning of sounds that we already knew. Good job. Try another one. What if I put I before land? What do you get? I. What about you in front of night? Unite. What about O in front of ver? Over. What about E in front of Z? Easy. Good job, boys and girls. Practice, well, excuse me, practice that today with your moms or dads. Practice listening for long vowel sounds at the beginning of words. Good job. Now, you need to pinch your pencil. You need to write your first and last name at the top where it says, name. Now, remember, we're so far along in phonics, Miss Miranda should not have to write the letter for you. So I'm going to say the sound and you will write the letter that goes with that sound. So number one is you. Number two is E. Number three is A. Number four is O. Number five is I. And number six is J. J. Number seven, V. 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 Number eight. Oh, we know two letters that make this sound, so you have to write the two letters that make this sound. K. Number nine, Number 10, oh, qua, qua. And I want you to write, who goes with Q? Who is Q's best friend? You, that's right, so you're writing Q-U. Number 11, eh. Now you're going to say, but Miss Miranda, we already wrote E for number two. That's right, but. E has two sounds. E says E and E says E. Eh. So on number 11, write E again. And number 12, W. Okay, number 13. You ready? 13. Oh, we did that one already. We sure did. Number 13 is, let's see. 
ah, ah, ah. Number 14, uh, uh, uh. Number 15, ah, ah, ah. Number 16, G, G, G. And number 17, wa. We did that. Sorry, boys and girls. Miss Randall's looking at the wrong place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So number 17 is yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in the box, circle all of the vowels that you see. I see A, I see E, I see I, I see O, and I see U. So let's count those. One, two, three, four, five. Write the number five and write the word five. On the back, this is a bingo game, and so Miss Miranda can't play bingo with you because you're at home and I'm at home. So you're going to find something where you can cover up the vowel you're going to practice saying words that have consonant, vowel, consonant, like hat, bat, cat, rat. The whatever vowel you hear in the middle is what you're going to cover up on the back. So that's a bingo game for you to play at home with your moms and dads. Go ahead and trace the rectangle and read the words to someone. And also remember, on a different piece of paper, you're going to write your letters from A all the way to Z. I'll see you next time.